Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, one specific uh, room library annotation named uh, Embedded. So uh, what's the purpose of this uh, Embedded uh, annotation? Well, in our entity class we can annotate our own custom object with this annotation and uh, the compiler will basically take fields from that custom object and uh, embed them into our entity like they were already defined in our entity class. But uh, there is a catch. So so uh, this will only work if the fields from that specific uh, annotated object have acceptable types which are already defined in a room library. For example, uh, we can have a string or integer type fields but not bitmaps directly for example. And uh, if you want to store some uh, non-acceptable types in a room database then you would need to use a type converter instead. And uh, that will be a topic for another video tutorial. Uh, ok so let's open up our Android Studio project and here I have already created a simple project uh, with a room library and uh, this project will be available for you to download in the video description as well. So uh, here as you can see this is our main activity layout and uh, we have just one simple recycler view where we are going to display some data. I have also created the DAO database repository view model and uh, adapter for recycler view as well. So well, let's first open this uh, entity class. Ok so this is a simple uh, entity class here named the person and uh, we have a table named uh, my table and uh, our entity class have uh, four different fields ID with the primary key first name, last name and age, ok? So we have two integer types and two string types. So uh, for example, uh, we can define here uh, new fields for uh, for example address. So for example let's create a street name with a type of string and a street number for example with a type of integer ok. So uh, we can define some more fields here but uh, our entity class uh, will not look that clean ok. So there is an option to fix that and for example we can remove those fields from our entity class here and down below we can create another uh, data class named uh, for example address. And uh, this address uh, class can have those two fields ok street name and street number. And here we can add uh, some more uh, fields for example uh, home number and I don't know uh, home color or something. And uh, we can embed this uh, class inside our entity class here. So now we can write for example uh, address and uh, we can annotate this field with uh, embedded annotation. Ok and now uh, the compiler will basically take those two fields uh, from our address uh, class and it will embed them into our person class like if they were already defined there ok. And uh, it's as simple as that. Embedded annotation basically keeps our entity class clean. And of course we can get the reference of those two fields from this entity uh, as well. So it's uh, easy to, to use. And uh, let me just show you this is our row layout of our uh, recycler view. So here we have age, first name, last name, street name and street number. And this is our main activity. We're going to write some code here. But before that let me show you uh, for example this DAO class or here I have already defined uh, functions for reading uh, the database and uh, inserting some uh, person object to our uh, room database. Also I have created this um, database uh, singleton. This is our repository, this is our uh, view model and basically this is our adapter. So everything looks uh, pretty much simple. So uh, if you are not familiar with uh, room library then I highly suggest you to watch my uh, tutorial series here on YouTube. So you can uh, learn about the room database more and then you can uh, watch this video if you don't understand this. Ok so uh, here I'm going to uncomment those uh, two fields now. Ok. So here as you can see our adapter basically contains uh, this uh, person list and uh, we have also this function set data which we are going to call from our main activity to actually uh, set the data inside our recycler view. And uh, here we are basically just uh, binding our uh, views with uh, the data which we have passed uh, to our adapter. So let's get back to our main activity and let's uh, insert some data and read the data in our recycler view so you can see how uh, that will work. Ok so first we are going to start by uh, by initializing adapter. Uh, then we are going to initialize a view model. So uh, my view model. Ok so inside our own create method we are going to uh, use a view model provider. Ok let's pass uh, context here and the name of our uh, view model. Ok so here we are going to basically set the adapter on our recycler view. And uh, we are going to call a layout manager. Ok. 
So uh, down below first I want to create uh, address object. So for example, let's uh, create one uh, address object and here let's um, set for example street name and street number for example sesame street with a number of uh, for example number 10 then we're going to create a person object and uh, here we're going to pass the id so for example i'm going to type uh, zero here but this will be automatically generated uh, then the first name for example i'm going to type uh, john last name uh, doe uh, age uh, 25 for example and the last uh, field is uh, our address Okay, and uh, I'm going to call insert function to actually insert this uh, person object uh, inside our room database. So let me call uh, my view model dot uh, insert person and I'm going to pass the person here. And also I'm going to observe the, the data from uh, our room database. So read person dot observe and here I'm going to call uh, adapter and basically set the data to our recycler view. And uh, when I run the app, uh, our uh, application will basically immediately insert this uh, data in our uh, room database and uh, our main view model will observe the room database and it will get the, the values and uh, set inside our recycler view. Okay, so uh, let's run the app. And uh, as you can see, uh, in our recycler view, we have uh, displayed some uh, simple data which we have already defined in our main activity. So everything works perfectly fine. And uh, also we can get the reference of uh, address uh, fields very easily. So for example, uh, let's type here for example zero and here as you can see we can uh, get the field name address and then dot and then we can access those uh, two fields named the street name and street number. So everything works the same as uh, if we define those uh, two fields inside our person class but uh, this way with uh, embedded annotation we have basically made our entity class uh, more cleaner and uh, that's the whole purpose of uh, embedded annotation. So in some of the next videos, I'm going to also show you how to store, uh, for example, bitmaps uh, inside the room database and how to use a type converter as well. So uh, that will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.